Do you know how many new cruise ships are coming out in the next five years? Hey folks, I'm Walter. Thanks so much for joining us. And as always, please do hit that subscribe button, click the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when we have new content here. So I was wondering, you know, with all of these new ships coming out, it seems like we got a new ship like releasing every single month. How many new ships are coming out? So I reached out to my buddy, Dave Monk, who is a British journalist, uh, writes all about cruising. He's Ship Monk on social media. You should follow him. And he pointed me at an order book and said, hey, well, you know, there's over 70 ships coming. 70? Over 70 brand new cruise ships are due to come out between right now and the next five years. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look. You're probably going to see some of your favorite cruise lines in here. So let's take a look at what's coming out. So this year in 2022, we've already had a bunch of ships delivered. Uh, Virgin Valiant Lady, the Silver Sea Silver Dawn, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, Costa Toscana, Princess Discovery Princess, Aida Cosma, the Viking Octanus, which is actually a Great Lakes sailing ship, the Emerald Azura, Celebrity Beyond with Captain Kate, the Viking Mars, Disney Wish, the Seaborn Venture. Those have all been delivered already. Still coming in 2022, the Norwegian Prima, the Viking Polaris, the Sunstone Sylvia Earl, which will be on charter to Aurora Expedition, and the Sunstone Ocean Odyssey, which will be on charter to Vantage Travel. The Swan Hellenic Vega, the Rich Carlton of Rima, if I'm saying that correctly, the Carnival Celebration, the Mystic Atlas World Traveler, the MSC Seascape, the P&O Arvia, the Viking Neptune, the MSC World Europa, now the Dream Cruises sadly will be going into scrap. She's not going to be released. She was developed specifically for the Chinese and Asian market where the rules and the regulations on board the ship are a bit more lax, uh, especially when it comes to safety, when it comes to environmental concerns. So even though she's nearly completed, it will cost so much money to retrofit it to make it in compliance with Europe and the United States she's probably just going to be scrapped they're getting ready to sell off the engines and anything else they can and then they're going to melt the ship down for scrap and reuse it it's going to be a shame but that's what happens oceanwide jansonius so some of these cruise lines i've never heard of i mean have you heard of oceanwide kind of reminds me of nationwide <laughs> okay let's pick up the pace in 2023 seaborne pursuit emerald sakara oceana vista viking saturn swan hellenic diana Sunstone Ocean Discoverer, Explorer Journeys Explorer One, The Virgin Resilient Lady, which has actually already been delivered. She was supposed to start sailing right now, but due to staffing issues and supply chain issues, they're holding the ship till 2023, but she has been delivered. MSC Eurebia, Norwegian Viva, Sunstone Ocean Albatross, Scenic Eclipse 2, Silver Sea Silver Nova, Royal Caribbean Icon, the brand new icon of the seas that we really don't know a whole lot about yet. Royal Caribbean says we will know more in September. I think they're finally gonna show us the drawings and finally show what it's all about. If you are on cruisecritic.com and you should be, there's a whole thread in the Royal Caribbean forum. I think they're up to like page 50 now of the entire ship being built and people speculating on what these blocks are. So if you want to see the icon of the seas, it's already on Cruise Critic and there's a huge thread running with pretty much a lot of pictures of the ship. She's being built right behind the Jubilee, the Carnival Jubilee. So she's literally being put together right behind the Carnival Jubilee. And pretty much every single day, there are new pictures of what the icon of the seas looks like. Princess has an unnamed ship, Virgin Brilliant Lady, Regent Grandeur, Carnival Jubilee, the Celebrity Ascent, the Sister to the Beyond, Mystic Atlas World Seeker, Mystic Atlas World Adventurer, Carnival China, an unnamed ship that's being developed specifically for the Chinese market, but being Carnival, that ship will probably have the safety features and environmental features just in case it can't sail in China and has to be redeployed to Europe or the United States, but that remains to be seen. In 2024, Cunard is getting the Queen Anne, Explorer Journeys, Explorer 2, TUI Cruises, the Mind Shift 7, Mystic Atlas, World Discoverer, Silver Sea has another ship, Royal Caribbean has the Utopia of the Seas, honestly my least favorite name of any of the ships they've ever released. Kind of sounds like you're going on a cult. You know, you're going out, hey, I'm going out to the Utopia. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Yeah. Storylines. I don't know who they are. The narrative. TUI Cruises, another ship. MSC, another ship. Norwegian, another ship. Carnival China, another ship. 
Viking Ocean, a ship. Disney, another Triton class coming. She'll be a sister to the Wish. Rich Carlton Ilma, 2025. Princess, another big ship. Explorer Journeys, Explorer 3. Royal Caribbean, probably another icon. MSC Cruises, probably a sister to the World Europa. Norwegian, another Prima class ship. Viking Ocean has two more ships. Oceana, Disney, the third Triton class ship. NYK, not even sure who they are. That'll be an Asian based ship. Ocean Residences, New York. Now that is a private resident yacht and they're going to have a 118 residences. So this is like a condo. It's gonna be a condo SEs, if you will. You will live on the ship, or it'll be your summer home or whatever, but that's what Ocean Residences is, and they say they're gonna launch their first ship in 2025, basically a mega yacht with 118 condos, apartments, whatever you wanna call them. Another celebrity ship, possibly another Ed ship, the Rich Carlton Luminara. 2026, Explorer Journeys, Explorer 4, Royal Caribbean has another icon ship. TUI Cruises, probably another mine ship. Viking Ocean has two more ships. Norwegian will have another sister to the Prima. Finally in 2027, Viking Ocean, probably another Norwegian Prima ship. And then MSC Cruises, probably another sister to the MSC World Europa. And that takes us through to 2027. And that's all we know of it right now. There has been speculation that Norwegian is going to order six more ships already, in addition to the ships that are on order right now. So if you think you've seen a lot of ships already, just wait for the next five years. And with the uh, new partnership, hopefully coming Royal Caribbean and Starlink with that internet service, Hopefully that means now we're gonna start getting even faster internet service and better internet service. You know, right now, the fastest speed on a cruise ship is around five to six megabits per second download. I mean, that's really slow. Starlink starts at something like 50 megabits per second. It goes up to 250 or, or maybe it starts at 25 and goes up to 250 megabits per second. So if you get those kind of speeds, that means we could, you know, essentially work remotely on a cruise ship which would give us the opportunity to go on a lot more of these ships because you know if you're just waiting to go on vacation it's going to take like the next 50 years to get on all of these ships so personally i would love to start visiting these ships but take my work with me you know wouldn't that be awesome you know instead of working at home or you go to a remote work location you just simply go to a ship and it's your remote work location you work during the day uh, you have breakfast right in a buffet or at a restaurant you work you go have lunch at a buffet or a restaurant maybe you go take a quick dip in the pool you come back you do some more work and then at the end of the day you got the cocktails the shows the pools everything just kind of waiting for you so it's like the ultimate ultimate remote work destination yes i know some of you probably think i'm crazy but yeah, just think about it just going to work on a cruise ship i could do i could go spend a month on a cruise ship and but just be working all the time i don't have a problem with that work during the day i got my coffee shop got my restaurants got my pool got my shows oh my god it'd be an amazing place to go to work remember this is all we know right now and royal caribbean we still don't know anything about the icon of the sea so it's going to be interesting to see what that ship is it's supposed to be the biggest ship in the world bigger than the oasis class we don't know what that means yet so what are you really excited about what cruise lines do you want to start sailing and what ships are you excited to see come down the line and as always thanks so much for watching look if there's any questions that you want to know about the cruising industry or just cruising in general please put your question down in the comments i will do my very best to get the answers for you but thanks again have an amazing day